Human trafficking is as prevalent as ever, and ignoring the signs can lead to big trouble, especially for our children. One victim shared her personal experience during a panel today in hopes of raising awareness. News Channel 8's Trevor Sahaki has the story. The victim told me she was being trafficked for years and didn't realize what was actually going on. Now she tells her story to prevent the same thing from happening to someone else. I grew up in an upper middle class Christian household. Why should it have happened to me? Look at me. Why? But it did. And it can happen to anyone. For more than 40 years, Tampa native Connie Rose said she thought she was a prostitute. Shh. What? I told you not to tell. Not a victim of human trafficking. No one wants a label. Right, but when you have an answer to something, and especially something that you're, sh you do, it's the blame, shame, and guilt. Now that she said she understands what happened to her decades ago, Rose wants to prevent it from happening to anyone else. So even though folks had an idea, they thought something was wrong, that in their gut they, they knew something was wrong, no one had the tools or the information like we're going to provide today. Today, Hillsborough County Public Schools and the Latino Coalition of Tampa Bay teamed up to present community leaders with resources and knowledge about human trafficking in their backyard. We have so many immigrants coming into our country on a daily basis that we want to make sure that they're advised and that they know the protocols and what to look for. The groups brought in experts from various nonprofits and foundations, as well as the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office, to show how prevalent human trafficking is. It's important because it affects our children. It's their well-being. The goal is to get the important information out to as many community members as possible to keep both kids and adults safe online and offline. It is important for the community, for our parents, for anyone and everyone, in, in, and particularly our youth, that this can happen to anyone. The panel also touched on how to keep yourself and kids safe from cyberbullying and other dangerous websites online. In Tampa, Trevor Sahaki, 8 on your side.